Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Red Bank Catholic is brought to you by Jag Physical Therapy. The top spot in the short conference is on the line in Tom's River. 7-1 RBC at 7-1 Donovan Catholic. Two top 10 teams give us a great regular season finale. We've got fireworks on the first play from scrimmage. RBC has figured out ways to get the ball in Emmanuel Ross's hands because something special usually happens. There he goes, 74 yards to the house. Emmanuel Ross has been sensational in the high stakes games. The Casey's put a seven spot on the board right out of the gate. Donovan Catholic's defense would settle in after that big play. Zaire Day had a pair of sacks on the Casey's second drive. Day has emerged as one of the top defensive linemen in New Jersey. But the Casey's took advantage of field position and strike again. Frankie Williams across the middle to Jack Boehm Squincherini. The RBC tight end continues to make an impact in the pass game. The Casey's are in business at the 12 yard line. It would lead to this. Frankie Williams QB run coming right at you. 12 yards for the Casey signal caller. RBC with a 14 nothing lead in the first. The Casey's defense was locked in for the first two quarters. Lorenzo Portella drags down Todd Lambertson. At the end of one, the Casey's with a two touchdown advantage. RBC allowed just one first down in the first half. Donovan was stifled. Freshman Lorenzo Tartamella is a name to watch. Meanwhile, the Griffins defense kept them in the game. Williams pass picked off by Emmanuel Jarena. That's just the third pick thrown by Frankie this year. At the half, Red Bank Catholic keeps its 14-0 lead. Late in the third quarter, Donovan Catholic comes to life. Lambertson to Michael Thomas III. Huge catch here, and he carries a pile of defenders. The drive continues to start the fourth quarter. First play of the fourth. Here's Najee Calhoun hitting the hole. He shows off his wheels. Calhoun, 27 yards for the Donovan Catholic touchdown. And we've got a ball game. It's 14 to seven. The Donovan defense matched RBC with excellent play. Zaire Day is an absolute menace. He had three sacks for the night. One of New Jersey's most underrated players. The Griffins get the ball back with a chance to draw even. And Donovan is threatening thanks to Michael Thomas III. He bounces to the outside. He's got the Griffins in RBC territory to the 24 yard line. But RBC's defense comes through huge. Calhoun stopped by Luke Wasif and Davin Bruton. The Griffins would throw incomplete on fourth down. The drive stalls. Under three minutes to go. Casey's looking to run out the clock. Wasif was a workhorse. This is a first down run and Donovan Catholic has to burn all of its timeouts. Final minute of the game, this might be the biggest play of the night. RBC punts it away. Vincent Musillo hits an absolute boomer. It's a 51 yard punt down at the eight yard line. Musillo backs Donovan up. They need to go 92 yards in 57 seconds with no timeouts. That's how special teams can win a game beyond a game winning field goal. The RBC defense made sure there was no dramatic late drive. Tardamella causes the fumble. Bruton is there to make the TFL. Then the game in the short top spot is sealed when Bruton makes the shoestring tackle. The clock strikes zero and Red Bay Catholic is victorious. Stellar defense by the Caseys is the formula for a short Conference American Division title and a likely number one seed in the upcoming non-public B state playoffs. Back-to-back -back games at Tom's River North and Donovan Catholic give RBC two straight wins against top 10 state-ranked teams. That is worth a celebration. 14-7 is your final. Donovan Catholic has the potential to play spoiler in the non-public A-state playoffs, while RBC will likely have a bye and be on a collision course with DePaul for another state championship showdown. Coach Mike Lang is proud of his team's resolve against a tough schedule that included Bergen Catholic, Seton Hall Prep, and these last two weeks in Tom's River. I'm proud of them. This, this schedule overall, if you look, this is a grind, right? Every week, and we've had to battle through some adversity, some injuries, things like that. And it just says a lot about, about our Redman Catholic kids. We're tough, and I'm proud of them, and we're not done. It feels amazing, you know. We get underestimated. I mean, Tom's River North was above us all that time, and I mean, went out and beat them, and then now we're here beating Donovan. You know, 
feels great. Our defense, we just had to stay cool, calm, and collective, you know, just go through our um, schemes and everything and just find which one that worked, and we uh, did that, so. How does it feel to be the top team in the Shore? It feels great, but I already knew that. Guess what, though? We number one in the Shore! In Tom's River, I'm Rich Grampanis for JerseySportsZone.com.